and welcome everybody in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future for our next deck, Rakdos Midrange. So we've been playing a little bit of Rakdos Midrange. Well, we played this deck quite a bit uh, before RNA. I've played it a couple times with RNA and we haven't done the best, but I'm trying out a little bit, uh, a little bit of different strategy here. So before I had, um, last time we played this, I had Remadi Reveler in the two mana slot and um, uh, the Immortal Sun in like six mana slot with the uh, Siege Gang Commanders and stuff. And so I want to I want to try Angrath instead. Um, Angrath is a card that I didn't think was too well positioned last format, but however, I think it's actually really well positioned this format. Uh, with how it's changed, with a lot of uh, really good targets for the minus ability, especially Hydroid Crisis, and um, the card advantage around the the, the plus one is just kind of always awesome. And so, I want to want to try uh, having Angras in here instead of the Immortal Sun. So if we make that change, then we're going to be uh, I'm a little worried about our card advantage with that change. So we're going to take out the Revelers and put in Treasure Maps um, to help out with that. Uh, get that extra card advantage in here. So we're going to try making that that change here. Uh, the other card that I want to try out is um, Carnival Carnage, uh, especially with the Carnage part, making the opponent discard a couple of cards. Uh, have that fall. I think like that could be a really good uh, precursor on turn four to an Angrath on turn five. So kind of excited about that. Um, but you know, we'll we'll see if this card is really worth it or not. Um, yeah, Angrath is probably my favorite Planeswalker too, and so I wanted to play some more Angrath, so that's what we're kind of doing here. Um, besides that, uh, other thing that I'm kind of switching up, so I'm putting some Legion War bosses in the sideboard. I think maybe my sideboard before was like too, too heavily slanted towards aggro decks, um, so we're making it a lot more, I'm getting it a lot more uh, slanted towards control decks and midrange decks and stuff like that. So we got war bosses to be able to bring in to put on a fast clock against people, and then also, uh, and then also a uh, blood fast by glass drill bit, um, kind of some more cards against control. So we'll see, see if that's good enough. See if maybe I have don't have enough against aggro now. I think we're okay against aggro though. That's what the Doom Whisperers are for your aggro matchups. They're great blockers and finish the game off fast, so like they can come in like whenever, and take out like Eldritch Reborn and so on. So let's try out some Rakdos midrange. All right, Hawkeye, you ready to go? Ready to kick the day off today? No, Raider's Wake is just not, it's just not a good card. It doesn't matter how much discard you have, really. It's just, you can't really play an enchantment like that in Standard that that uh, doesn't do anything on its own, especially these days with all the enchantment removal, like Mortifies and stuff. Hey, Nautical. All right, let's see how we do. On the draw, unlucky, but great curve. We hit some lands. That's what uh, Seeger Squire should help us hit that land drop. There we go. That's a good one to start with. Hey, Matthew. Hmm. It's likely mono blue aggro or is it Drakes? These are kind of the two decks that have like island opt. And it looks like Mono Blue Aggro. So it did make our matchup against Mono Blue Aggro worse, that's for sure, since the last time we played it. No, Zareth, I didn't see that. Don't need another Midnight Reaper. Um, we got one for next turn anyway. Uh, I, I would certainly need, certainly want another Red Source, because I, I want to play Rekindling Phoenix on turn four. I don't know what the nun is, but that does sound does sound like that's probably a scary movie or TV show or whatever it is. Not up my alley. 
I'm not a, a scary movie person. Alright, and the deck said, you, d you don't want Midnight Reaper? Well, here's another one. I mean, I like, I like me some Swift Blade Vindicator. Swift Blade Vindicator, I feel like, is an underrated card. So, Angelic Exaltation. I know what that card does. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, it gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of creatures you control. Hmm. Oh no, the opponent found their best card. Furious Obsession. That's the bad news. The kind of good news is that we're winning the race right now, so... Yeah, maybe we'll have to try out that Exaltation deck. That's really bad for us. Essence Capture is such a good card for the Mono Blue deck here. GG. Thank you. Thanks for always being here. And glad you're here. White Jagger. Hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Already off to a, a good Friday. Been getting some good work done. Um... I think our opponent has the trickster, yeah. Fortunately, all my stuff costs four and five. I can't double spell. You know, with our opponent only, like, presumably having, like, one counter spell, spell right now, it'd be really nice to double spell. Um, I could... Wait and try to contempt on their upkeep. I think I'm just going to Eldritch Reborn them. Because taking one mana during their turn isn't really that big a deal with the Contempt. I don't think we really have a don't really have a chance of winning. Curious Obsession is just too strong. They got to draw four cards off of it. It's just too good. Alright, duress, drill bit, soot, whisper. Alright, bringing in all that stuff. Um Reborn. Probably don't need treasure map. Treasure map seems a little slow in this matchup. I 
And then some combination of, like, Angrath and Contempt. Maybe I don't need this drill bit. Alright, I'm off the drill bit. Hmm. Hey, Anomaly. I don't know, I, I kind of like drill bit. Um, it's not... The thing is, is, like, we could just have, like, a hand of, like, removal and stuff, and it just doesn't do too much. All right, let's get rid of one Contempt, one Angrath, one of each of those at least, and then, um, which one else? Contempt or Angrath? I got Bedevils. I'm going to take out Contempt. Angrath just has a whole lot higher upside. I could play War Boss instead of those also. Actually, I wonder if War Boss is good here. Yeah, actually, maybe let's just get these War Bosses in. Ooh, okay, I kind of like that. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing, Hawkeye? Okay. Damn, man. Damn, why can't we just have good mana? You just hit the mute button, okay? Um. Oh, why are you doing this deck? Hey, nerd girl. How's your standard uh, playing last night? We're going to have to get fortunate with drawing some spells here. The whole scry a land to the bottom and then draw another land. That's not us getting fortunate with spells. Yeah, how'd it go? How'd the 11 hours of standard go? Midnight Reaper and Rekindling Phoenix were good draws, but our opponent's not helping us out by having Curious Obsession. And just the best possible counterspell. Yeah, this match wasn't close. Well, at least Teferi, you have till turn 5 to have it. Curious Obsession is a little worse for us. You gotta have that on turn 1. Or turn 2, I mean. Bleh. Oh well. Alright, let's try, try again. That was a... Even though it was like a bad mulligan for us, we still had turn 2 Lava Coil, turn 3 Midnight Reaper, turn 4 Rekindling Phoenix. You know, we just got ran over still. Mardu. Okay. So I'm gonna save, um, I'm gonna save Lava Coil for Judith um, and just play the Seeker Squire that will either draw us the third land, which we, we need the third the third land. Hey, that's right, Dev. It's only up, going, only gonna go up from there. That's a good point. 
Um, or if, if we didn't get the third land, then the squire would be able to block the artist. So either way, like we kind of have upside with playing the squire. So we'll go ahead and play that. And then if they're a Fireblade artist deck, I'm assuming they're a Judith deck or Midnight Reaper. That's another good card to coil. I'm going to wait a turn for Coil, because I really want to hit the land drop. Oh, really, Zerf? You took the day off work? Nice. Yeah, it's going good. I've been getting... Uh, got some good work done today. And uh, I'm ready to play some Magic. Definitely have some fun decks lined up today. Yeah. Why are you biting me? Uh, okay, that that's what your plan was for today? Gotcha. No, I don't really stream limited. Well, no land drop, so it looks like it's time to coil. Final payment. All right, opponent got me. I don't think that's... I don't know if I want to Daredevil a final payment. This carnival hasn't looked too good. I mean, I guess it, we can kill the Firelight... The Footlight Fiend, I mean. I, mean, I, I could, like, block Fire... Blade Artist and Carnival it, and just trade two for one. All right, there we go. Got our fourth land. Rekindling Phoenix time. Guys, being a loud eater. No, he's eating his lunch. Um. Yeah, I think this is what Angrath is for. Eldritch Reborn is like uh, probably a safer card to play. We're just rekindling Phoenix, monsters. but I want Angrath to start getting rid of all these cards no in our opponent's hand. No steel. And um, clear those away. Our opponent could kill the Angrath, though, you know, with like a removal spell like a Lava Coil and, I don't know, something else. Maybe Contempt here. Mortify. Okay. That's a pretty good card. That's a that's a good card. That was not bad either.
Hmm. So I didn't really want to minus no fire, no steam. Angrath take out the priest, but I, I certainly wanted to get priest out of here. Um, I don't think we need to minus to get rid of it. I have to be a little worried about you know like we're at twelve. Um, I do have to be a little worried about our opponent uh, killing us with like fireblade artists, sacking creatures, and things like that. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair, a fair price. price. All right, time to take out everything they have. So Priest will just sack both the Phoenixes. Because we'll be able to get those back. Um, and then they have to sacrifice a creature. We had two black mana. And then with that two black mana, we can cast Eldest Reborn to make them sack the Fireblade Artist. Get that thing out of here. And then the Priest is gone. All right. Hmm. Let's bring in ritual of sets to kill things instead of the carnival carnage that doesn't really kill things. Um. <laughs> yeah, that was a good. That was a good play. That was a good turn. Um. And then Doom Whispers instead of Eldest Reborns. Hey, welcome back, Travis. Thanks for that resub there for the second month in a row. Sub number one on the day. All right, eyes and F. See you back in a little bit. Have fun. Uh, actually, I'm at 83 there for that number. Looks like that changed. Um, all right, anything else? So I kind of want to put in this other Doom Whisperer. Um, I could take out a Midnight Reaper. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sold on the Carnival Carnage now after kind of playing that game. I think there's there's a lot of other decks that Carnival actually kills a creature in a lot of other aggro decks. Uh, not not our opponent's deck though, unfortunately for us. Okay, I like this hand like with the Ritual of Sid in it. And that could be an important card in the matchup. What's the button between the multicolor and the land button for the deck interface? I'll have to check it out. I'll have to yeah, I'll have to go look at like the deck. Uh, interface and and see. I don't know off the top of my head, you know, like what the what the buttons are in order and everything. Just has a magic symbol on it. Hmm. Cards you don't own. Okay, maybe that's it. So even though I'm planning on Ritual of Soot for next turn, I'm still just playing the Midnight Reaper out. Um, just to save some life. Honestly, like it's just going to replace itself. You know, the, so that Ritual of Soot was basically just gain two life draw card. Which isn't amazing, but considering how low our life total is already going to be, uh, as you can tell, I considered it to be worth it. Um, 
Hope they don't have anything that makes me sacrifice a creature. So ill got inheritance that will help them win over the long game. So we gotta have a quicker clock. So that's why I'm just playing the Doom Whisperer here. Okay, so you figured it out. It's cards that were craftable for the wild cards you have. Gotcha. Hmm. I don't think I want to just pay two life to surveil. Nah, I'm, I'm not feeling this pay two life surveil thing. These things are going to be dealing two damage every turn. They can even sacrifice it to do four. Yeah, we're going to die pretty quickly. All right, gain a couple life with that. They have the six mana to sacrifice the ill-gotten inheritances. I need two more permanents before I have Arch of Araska turned on, so we're a little ways away from that. Mm, that's probably game. Guess I have to do this now. No Mortify? Alright, I'm just doing it the one time. next turn. The ill got inheritance. Can't stop that. So I could play Duresses to try to hit them. I can play Spyglass to stop them from being able to sacrifice it, but they still just do one to me every single turn. I think I'll play Duresses over the treasure maps. They're the they're a type of aggro deck. I don't think we really need the the treasure map for or against. I suppose. Alright, let's try to hit a land drop next turn. Don't need to cast a rest right away. Like the biggest thing that I'm worried about is ill gotten inheritance, so we don't need it immediately. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and duress them right now, and then that'll kinda let us know um, what we need to do here. So I think it's either Theater or Inheritance. I may just take Inheritance, honestly. Theater, they get to play next turn.
But even if they play theater next turn, they're not like, you know, they don't have spectacle turned on immediately. And <laughs> Jill, is this Jill? All right, and I'm glad I got rekindling Phoenix down before um, a drill bit got to take it away. Alright, Phoenix time. We got five turns with this rekindling Phoenix. But if we can keep them from hurting us, then the theater of horrors won't really do anything. Uh, I guess that that turns on theater so they get to play the land. Oh, they already played a land from their hand though. Haha. -ha. Should have waited. I just played his half land in. You're just no fire, no steel. Oh no. They're their own Angrath. Here be monsters. That's bad. I don't know, is it that bad? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we can put them down to two. I'll just double block. I could like, you know, so I could not block here and then have like the minus three of Angrath take it or I could even just chump block. Um, I'm just no going to, fire. but I'm just going to, no just going to double block. Then I have five power on the battlefield. I'll just kill the Angrath uh, with my five power here. Um, that was my plan. Just kill their Angrath. What's your opinion on evolving wilds in budget decks with the reason being to remove lands from the deck and improving the chances uh, for playables? It, I think that's, that's okay. Like if you, you know, if you want like a mana fixing and you're on a budget, um, evolving wilds is, is fine. I, I kind of like just guild gates more um, because I like oh, playing, playing against the Todd father. I like the 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 coming to play tap lands being actual dual lands where they get to add uh, your two colors. Um, you know, if you're a two color deck. Hmm. I wonder if this fielder is going to do stuff for us. Yeah, my dad's playing online right now. I don't think this is this is Nexus. I mean, it it could be, but just because it's a a a gate stack doesn't mean it's Nexus.
guild summon is just destroying us. Don't think we're gonna win this game. That's a great start of spiral into guild summit plus plus draw into a route plus draw three. Yeah, the gates deck has like the most powerful, um, has like the most powerful cards. Like whenever their mana and and their curve works and everything. Like this is just too strong. I just don't don't have a, a single chance with Guild Summon and all that stuff. The big problem with Rakdos is the lack of uh, ways to destroy enchantments for sure. Um all right. Bringing all this stuff in, treasure map out again. We we just have to be an aggro deck. Um, that's about all we can do is be an aggro deck. So we just want hand disruption and then like war boss to finish them out. not a very good aggro deck. Um, hey, Peach True. Thank you so much for that sub right there. Sub number two of the day. Um... So I think this is, I think this is what we're doing here. Don't like how high my curve is, but I don't really have a an option. Memorial to Folly Dragon Skull Summit. Two tap lands. We need to hit land drop, so not keeping that Phoenix. Ready for some Teamer Vanifar? All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play that deck, too. It's got, I think it has four Rhythm of the Wild to go with the four Vanifar. So we're, we're really doing that whole thing. Um, I'm going to wait another turn before I duress. Nah, I'll just duress right now. We've got a second duress. Gates of Blaze Wilderness Reclamation. Numbers! Second month with that sub there. Watch you every day after getting home from work. Keep up the great streams. Aw, oh, thanks, Numbers. Um, so, I guess I just get rid of the Wilderness Reclamation. I don't have to worry about the Gates of Blaze too much right now. You know, if we draw something that... If we draw something that we need to get rid of the Gates of Blaze, I can just duress it. I, I hope the Gruel Monsters list is competitive. Uh, that's, that's actually one I put together, Silver Weasel. Um... Alright, let's see if we get the land and we know we're going to Angrath next turn. Um, yeah, I, I put that list together. I'm, I'm hoping it's competitive. <laughs> yep, I'm playing against, playing against my dad. 
right now. As per mid-range with disinformation campaign. We're going to take Coil because it's better against Rekindling Phoenix and Midnight Reaper. Um, even though Gates of Blaze is better against uh, Legion War Boss. But not like that much better. Um, I haven't played against the, the list with, with this information campaign, but I, I could see it being kind of decent. I've, I'm interested in trying out um, Esper Midrange with disinformation campaign. Because I it's been it's been doing pretty good There's online. No fire, I like that no steel. Or wait, no, I think that list has hero. I don't really like Hero of Precinct One. I think that's the most overrated card in the format myself. Is that other card our opponent's keeping? No fire, no steel. It's not the angel. It's not the six-man angel, because they would have just played it this last turn. Could be Colossus, which which Colossus would be really bad for me. But no, they probably would have just played Colossus before. Hmm. Maybe it's just another Gates of Blaze. No fire, no steel. Well, Angrath's certainly helping out. You know, we mold the five, but Angrath may pull this out for us. No fire. Yeah, no I've been I've been really disappointed with Domri as well, but uh, you know we're gonna try trying Domri again. That was like part of the part of the donation was to build a Domri deck. So, I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna try it out. Alright, so this deals 6 damage. Is that lethal? I didn't count it. Let's just attack first. 2, 4, 6, 7. Looks like that's exactly lethal. And more cards in their graveyard. Double check. Alright, they have 6 cards in their graveyard. Okay. I am the hammer. You are the end. Oh, I'm sorry, Rex. <laughs> um, so they are playing Nexus. Gates Nexus. They could certainly switch up their sideboarding plan. I don't. I don't know if I'm supposed to have like Bloodfast in against Nexus Gates. Like I, I probably should. If I put that in over Eldritch Reborn, I still have six removal spells. If they switch it up and put in like a bunch of um, eight drops. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Angrath is a great planeswalker, I agree. Notification.
Yeah, Clue King, it is a donation deck, but it was... Uh, the person who donated for it yesterday just would ask me to, to make a... Um, make a donation deck with Gruul and with Domri. Um, saying that I could have added in white as well. But I really won uh, a Domri deck, and so... That's what I'm going to try. There. I hope it's good. Our hand doesn't have any disruption, unfortunately. You know, like, I'm not going to mulligan the, this curve that we had, but I was hoping that with our draw steps we would find, um, you know, some duresses. You know, some some hand disruption or hand grafts. We haven't yet, which isn't, uh, isn't ideal. <laughs> yep, I, I called up my dad and told him to download Arena. Certainly saw that one coming. Hopefully they don't have any more lava coils. So much for that hope. Our deck hasn't helped us out here either. We're not really drawing any cards that matter. After our, our opening hand was good. After our opening hand, we have drawn. Uh, Five lands. Of course, the squires help with that. We've gotten five lands, a contempt, and a squire. Not ideal, I would say. Guess I should have played the blood crypt there. I don't think it matters really. I don't know if they made a mistake with Vivian. I, I think they kind of made a mistake with Domri being... They just really, really lowered the power level on Domri, basically. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it was really a, a mistake either with either one. Um, Vivian's probably a little too powerful, and Vivian is just... And then Domri is just not nearly powerful enough. Well, at least they're down to only one card. You know they have infinite mana. Like if they find if they find a guild summit, we're dead. Just we just can't have them find a guild summit. All right, I'm gonna. Hmm. Do I want? To, would I want to angrath that? No, I don't think I would. So let's let's bedevil. Um, I want to save contempt for like the eight eights. They can come back. We haven't found a single Angrath or discard spell. Where is Angrath? I don't think Bedevil should be 1 BR casting cost. I don't, th I don't think. I, I like it how it is. I think BBR is perfectly reasonable. gotta be game. I can't imagine that our 
opponent doesn't have a guild summit by now. Or, I mean, just, just draw seven. They still had one gate to go get with that circuitous route. That's good news. Oh, well, I messed up. I didn't play around the gate at all. But it's contempting on their turn. Originally. And I was gonna, then I would have been able to untap and have my other negate. Huh. Looks like... Something has happened. There we go. Um, so I liked kind of what we had going on for the most part. The... I don't think we need Carnival Carnage. Kind of want to just play four Angraths. Is that... Is that too many Angraths? Like, I, I, like it's just like the card that I want on turn five every single game. I kind of just want a fourth one. Then I need uh, something else to do kind of in this mid game, especially like turn three. Yeah, the treasure maps were not very good. We didn't really play against like control where they're a lot better, but yeah, they, they weren't very good. Yeah, that's, that's what I just put in, I talked about this before, I just took out Remodi to put in treasure maps, but the maps weren't, the maps honestly weren't very good. Um, I haven't really loved Remadi though. Yeah, like Midnight Reapers are really a good Black Red 3 drop, Chain Whirler is. Nah, I don't want Hackerbats. Playcrafter. Could play like fight with could play like a fight with fire. Blood operative. If we were playing like the Carnage, the uh, if we 
we could keep the carnage. We'll play some pestilence spirits. Hey, sculpt of mine. Could just be chupacabra. Probably should just be chupacabra. Hmm. Chubacabra's kind of great. Let's squee. Bedeck Bedazzle. Could just be Judith. Honestly, don't hate Judith. Does a lot of the same things Lava Coil does, but you know, it doesn't exile. One fourth Bedevil. I need need more two drops. Um, what's the one one that draws a card? Dusk Legion. Dusk Legion just puts a body on the on the battlefield that can attack. And you can jump block with it and draw a card with Midnight Reaper also. One two with Death Touch and Afterlife one. I don't think Zealot is way better than Squire. I like Squire more. I think that that toughness is is uh, pretty nice on Squire. Hey, Yager, welcome back for the 25th month in a row. Thanks, Yager. Orzov is better than Dusk Legion Zealot. So instead of drawing a card, having your creature have Death Touch and so Having your creature have Death Touch and Afterlife 1 is better than drawing a card. 
So your random card in your deck is worse than Death Touch Afterlife 1. I can see that. The main deck I want theater against is Esper Control, and they play four Mortifies. I would much rather have Angrath than theater. Angrath's just the card I want every single turn. Yeah, that's that's just how it is, right? Orzov. Yeah, I mean that's that's just like what like this trade off is. The enforcer is going to be better against creature decks like where the death touch is really important, but against control decks you'd rather have a zealot. That's that's just like the main. Main trade off there. Um Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with the deck. The Daredevils haven't haven't seemed very good for a long time. Which is unfortunate. There's too many decks where Daredevil's not doing anything against. Do I need like enforcers? Enforcers are really better than zealots. I think like the thing is is like Zealots and Squires like help you hit your land drops, which is pretty important. Probably not. If that was the deck. I. So, so, yeah, you don't want to play Resplendent Angel right away. Uh, Resplendent Angel is your card that you want to play in the the late game. Davis Sandy, of course, is a card you want to play right away. So they're they're different they're different kind of cards. Resplendent Angel is going to be a lot better against aggro. Where Thief is going to be a lot better against Control. I haven't been very impressed with Remodi. The thing is, is like with this two drop and this kind of deck, is I want to play it on turn two. Remodi is not really a card that I've been liking on turn two. The, you know, it's a card that I thought that I would love, but just playing the card, you know, it's it's awesome late game when you spectacle it and you know you draw three. Obviously, that's very good. Um, or just even late game when you don't have any hand, you just draw a card. Um, but like this is the kind of thing like you'd want to play this on turn two. Like these two drops, you want to play on turn two, which is why I want like these are cards I want to be playing actively on turn two. No, I don't want two of each. I want I just want Dusk Legion Zealot. 
I think Dusk Legion Zealot honestly works pretty well with, with Midnight Reaper and everything. Yeah, I kind of like how this looks. I wonder... I wonder if I have one too many Bedevils. Is it like so? Is this enough removal? If I had one find in the deck. Probably need more Chupacabra. So like this this would just be in the deck for just the find part, not for the finality part. Like I wouldn't really care to, to put any black mana in the deck. Or sorry, green mana. Is Hellkite even better than Doom Whisperer? Um, no, I haven't played any Hesper Midrange deck. I mean, I, I have I have an Esper Angels deck that I made that I that I have, but I haven't played like the that Esper Midrange deck with the Thief Hostage Shaker stuff. Siege Gang's really good when you're playing a Mortal Sun, but without a Mortal Sun, I think I like Doom Whisperer. Six six flying trample is really big. Twenty five, twenty five lands. I think's a good amount. Um. We have Vangrath number four over here. And nice, Yager. No, I I have, don't have any updates for it. I still like I like that seventy five with it. I haven't I haven't updated it. Um I was still just going to play the same 75. Yeah, Siege Gang is... I mean, yeah, they do get... The pump they get with Judith is certainly a thing. Um, that's true. That is certainly a thing. Right, yeah. We, that's, what, that's why we have these as our two drops, because they help us get, like, you know, these... You know, this draws a card. This helps us explore to land. So we should be able to hit land drops with these cards. Midnight Reaper, you know, you get to play blocks. You get to play a block something also, trade with it. Uh, draw another card. So we should be able to get lands with, with you know, like, that's that's why I like these cards. Because they make sure we get to our four and five mana. Because we do need four, to hit our fifth land drop every single game with this deck. That's certainly a thing. Yep, creatures die to removal. That's how it happens. Alright, let me try this. For Rakdos Midrange. Let's try this again. Yeah. 
Banefire is good. Is it? Never liked Banefire myself. All right, I think think that's what I'm going to try for next time for Rakdos Midrange there. All right, so that was our league with Rakdos Midrange. If you're watching this later on YouTube, um, this is the this is the list I'd recommend it uh, changing to. Um, and it looks like we're having some trouble with the stream right now, so I'm going to go ahead and try restarting that. But um, yeah, so there we go. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.